Yo, yo, what up, my beautiful dowdies? How's everyone doing today? I'm your host, Fao. Let's talk about the resources in Wuthering Waves. A week has passed of playing Wuthering Waves. Hope everyone is still having a good time. But there's one problem we seem to be running into, and that's the resources. The limited resources in this game is getting a bit of an issue because it takes a lot of resources to get one character completely maxed. If you're Union level 30, then that means that we can't level all these characters to the max potential. Most of you probably have characters around level 60, and you guys probably don't have to invest that many shell credits yet, and you can't take the abilities that far yet, and you maybe just start with your echo leveling. But there's a lot of things that are going to run out if you haven't run into this issue yet. Let's take the echo system, for example. If we look at the echo system, we get tuners to tune every echo for substats. All the blue and purple ones that you got are already useless because you can't turn them into the yellow ones to upgrade the five star echoes and to tune them. That's already a very big issue because you're not going to use the, especially the blue ones. I think at the beginning stages, the purple ones might be useful still if they have good stats on them, but you can't convert them into the five star ones so you're going to run out, out of those very quickly. And this issue, many people have already. So then if we look at other things like level up materials, if you want to level up your character, you probably don't have enough level up materials right now to take every character in your team to max if you would be able to max them. Of course, you can't fully max them yet, but getting characters to level 60 already takes a very big chunk of your resources. If you go to my Encore, my Encore is level 50 out of 60. Not a single thing is in my Encore right now. If I would go auto select to go to level 60, look at the chunk it takes. This is even more than maybe the average player because I chose to do experience with my wave plates. Before level 20, I chose to put my wave plates in the experience materials. And look how much already is gone. And I've only built Kalcharo to 59 because I like to level my characters not all the way max so they can still get the XP from the world and whatever you do. If we look at Mortify, then we see 49 out of 50 and then my Baiji is 49 out of 50 as well. This is not that high yet. Hey, pause the video right now. Over 90% of you people that watch my videos actually are not subscribed to my channel. It would mean a lot to me if you would actually consider subscribing. It's free and you can always change your mind after. Let's continue with the video. And I'm trying to build a little bit of an encore right now to clear content for Tower of Adversity. I'm trying to make a little bit of a second team, but I'm already running in the issue. If, you, if I would start building a second team or a third team already, there's no way I can build those characters to max or get them going to the max level that I can put them in as of now. That's why we focus on one team first, but the resources are running out already and we're only one week in. And I think that it's very fast. Gacha games by default have a system that they want as, as much money as possible from you. So they give you a lot of limited resources. If it's the jades from the game, you know, the crystals or the stamina system or whatever it is, they're trying to get as much money from you. So you spend money to get a better feel of the game because if you're a free to play player you're free to play brother and sister out here then you need to really watch your resources and really watch what you spend it on and the more characters you build the more resources you're going to take in the beginning of the game it's going to be the roughest that's always the case in every gacha game if you've been playing a game for a year you will have a lot of characters built a lot of weapons built and it's easier to then take a new character all the way to max level because you only have to focus on one thing in the beginning of the game everything all happens at once and it's very overwhelming i have to think about a lot of things base level the weapon the echoes the skills the abilities all of that comes into place and then from all three of your party members on top of that if you need three teams then you need six more characters to, to deal with so it's a lot a lot of resources and a lot of investment but it is very very rough from this game that we already hitting a wall only a week in and we're not even maxing out these characters yet the resources are looking to be a very big problem let me know in the comments down below what you guys think about this if you guys are hitting the same wall or starting to hit this wall if you guys have no issues at all if you guys have a very good system on spending your resources what's the most efficient way would love to hear you guys takes and we can always help each other in the comments down below my tip for this issue right now is to build one team properly so you go for your DPS first. I have a Kalcharo. So whatever it is for you right now, Gion, Encore, Kalcharo, whatever it is, focus on that DPS and put the most val value resources in that DPS. Then you take two supportive units, so a sub DPS and a healer slash support, and you take them 
to like what I what I'm also doing right now to like level 49 50 ish so they can unlock a little bit more talents maybe give them a little bit of stats so they can at least get the support abilities going and ascend the DPS as far as you can level the weapon and with that team you get the flow of the game going so you are able to clear things faster farm faster have less trouble in the overworld so you can farm bosses and spend your wave blades more efficiently so you have one team you can rely on that is my plan and my advice for you guys you build that one team up up and up so it can keep up with the level so you always have this one main team with the most value and that dps is king on your account then we got that covered you start looking for the second and third dps and what i would do then instead of maxing all that team as well i would just focus on those two dps's and then just get the support and the healer or the sub dps and the healer just at like a level 49 again just to get them going so they can just put their stuff on the field so you can swap off and go to dps again don't max the support and healer for the second and third team fully because that's going to take a lot a lot of resource that's four characters that you would have to level then just make sure the dps are capable of de dealing damage so you can clear tower of adversity in a more faster and efficient way so you have one team that will crush tower of adversity because that's the, your main team and then you have two teams where just the dps's are properly built and then the sub dps and the healer are okay and functional so around the level 40 50 so that the dps can do as much damage so you can try to get those clear times i think that is the most efficient way let me know what you're going to do and if you have a better idea for that that's something i'm going to do and something i'm going to focus on because getting a good flow in this game is going to be extremely crucial because we need so many resources and if we're a week in and we're around union level 35 30 to 35 right now and we're already running out on these resources we really have to start thinking about strategies and what to do to not fall in a black hole and hit so many walls that the game becomes very clunky and rough to play i think another great tip is don't sleep on these four star characters mortify is a amazing sub dps and in my opinion the best sub dps in the game right now i think sun Hua is also very very good so if you like her or you already started building her you can take her as well she just takes more skill of course because of how her kit works i think mortify is more of a very easy use character and then you get easy damage going very quickly the beauty of building these four star characters like still a by g if you're not using verena or you don't have verena yet leveling your by g is not the end of the world because you need those three teams these characters are going to be extremely high investment if you want to max these characters out so you need three teams so one team would have arena one team would have by g for the support healer and then you need a third one so if you're already putting a little bit of investment in by g right now and you let's say would get a arena of a banner you can then put by g on the second team and put arena in your main team to get the main team going and having better damage i think this is how we have to look at it mortify is going to get swapped by yin lin for a lot of people that play Kalcharo, of course should you be afraid to level mortify or at least get him going so he's functional no because mortify can go to the second team or to the third team and this is how you should flip around these characters in my opinion they will always be very valuable and then you always have something to fall back to so let's say I have a Mortify leveled and I would start building a second team and I have Sun Kwa and then I would pick up Yin Lin. I literally have three DPSs then ready and good to go. And I think that's how you should go with your account. That's why you really need to be very careful for what character you're going to summon for because these characters take a lot of investment. It takes 20 million credit to like max out a character. That is crazy. Gacha games in general are a patient process. Be patient, save your summons and your tickets, your pools, your crystals, your jade, whatever it is. Save them for the right character. If you want that character to be max value, you can maybe go for the weapon then as well, because it's 100% rate in Wuthering Waves. But save for the characters, look for what you're missing, look for what you need. I think lim limited DPSs are probably very valuable in this game because you need three. I already have two covered. I'm going to use Kalcharo and Encore then. Encore and Kalcharo are very good DPSs. I just need a third one and then I have that covered. For yourself and for the fun of this game, if you want to have the most fun, you of course want to pull for the characters that you want the most. It's going to be a little bit more difficult because let's say there's going to, you pulled for Gion. You got Encore and you got Kalcharo. Technically, you got already three DPSs and you're good to go for the late game to start building around them. If all of a sudden now a new character comes out that you really want and that's also a DPS, 
that means you would need to replace one of the dps's that you already have if you already built one of those dps's then you're losing on precious and valuable materials that you'll use i already put a lot of investment in encore if i want to bench encore then i'm benching all those resources that i have into her so be very careful with who you invest in if you can clearly see this character i'm going to use for a very long time and i'm seeing myself use this character in the long run then it's fine like a mortify right i'm going to use mortify on my akal Charok main team right now when yin lin comes out she will be in that team when i get a verena baiji will be benched as well but then i have mortify and baiji for the second team so they still have the value and they still have the resources in them and it's still worth for me to have these resources in them because they're not going to be benched they're just going to be in the second team and i still need a third team after that so really look at your account for what you need and make really smart decisions where you put these resources in because we're starting to run out already i just want you guys to know this and i want you guys to have your eyes open for this because these resources are extremely valuable in this game now down the road there's probably going to be a way better electro dps than called charo that is inevitable there's a hundred percent going to be a limited five star that's going to be a better lightning dps than Kalcharo. now i have Kalcharo, yin lin and then when i get the verena i would have verena very premium team probably the best team in the game when yin lin comes out let's say a few months from now there's this crazy lightning dps that i really want and i'm going to bench Kalcharo. there's a few options you can do then you can put him in the one of the other two teams for tower of adversity or then you can completely bench him and then you bench all the resources with him now this is going to be an inevitable thing in the long run so don't stress about it too much just for the beginning stages of the game and be smart with it if you really for my free to play brothers and sisters out here if you really want to have an account with the most value and most optimal playtime, then maybe don't go for the lightning yes to bench Kalcharo. maybe go for another type of element so you have more elemental coverage Kalcharo might get power crap then but if he still works you can still use him now let's say this character comes a year from now and you have already three teams built properly and they're all functional then you can start looking to replace characters because then everything is built all of the resources are in them and then you're just looking to upgrade on top of these three teams that already function and then you really want to start to add better puzzle pieces toward to your team so always think ahead think in the long run this is going to bite me back if i invest in multiple characters and then i'm not going to use them ever again is making multiple teams function by an already smarter decision or is focusing on one team right now to get the best flow going and then step by step work towards the other two teams think ahead think smart pick up characters that you want and that you need combine the two and that's how you get the most fun and get the better best flow in the game going let me know in the comments down below how you're going to tackle this content with all the limited resources let me know ideas that you have i would love to hear you guys takes on that make sure to like and subscribe it really helps out the channel it means the world to me if you could do that make sure to join the discord trying to grow the community even further and everyone's welcome if you want to support the channel even further then become a member don't stress too much just think ahead and everything is going to be common sense from there have fun and i'll see everyone in the next video take care peace